Okay. Resident Evil 2 takes place on September 30th, or September 29th, depending. Oh man, don't worry, Car don't worry, Jill. Carlos is gonna take care of you. Oh boy, I was doing pretty damn good on that boss fight, if I do say so myself. Bullets. All right. Makeshift sick room. Search for a vaccine. This is how the original takes place, by the way, too. Jill gets infected by Nemesis, but that means we're like almost halfway Tyrell, through the game. Where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Half a day, though. It said half, roughly half a day later, so 11 to 12 hours. Carlos was running towards Jill. That's a long time, man. I got too many things. It's good to have all these bullets, because I'm going to fucking need them. I'm going to drop off some of this health. I know for sure I'm going to need it. Let me go ahead and save. I didn't save before. Alright. Yeah. Let's go. I've only been recording now like 25 minutes. It's unbelievable. Wait, so what's... Nothing's in there. Making life better. Safe, Sprint. Alright. Come on, Carlos. You the man. You the man, Carlos. Hey. I wish my controller would stop moving over. I think it keeps doing that and it's annoying the piss out of me. Is there someone behind me? No. Ah, damn. I need Jill's Master of Unlocking. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare and the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Secretly turning people into fucking zombies. Okay, I had to respond to a text message. You're next, pal. I really wish my controller would stop doing that. I have a second one, but it's like downstairs. Oh, I got another one? Come on, plane to go around. Oh, God. You know what? I deserve that. I deserve that. Just like you deserve this. Wish my aim would fucking improve. Hey, lady. Seriously, wish my aim would improve. I'm just gonna borrow that. Oh my god. Hang on, I this is really bugging me. Nope, it's still gonna do it. Alright, fuck it. See, I keep hearing these noises, and it worries me. Somebody's hat. something over here? Yes. Something for Jill. I know hunters are in this game. Don't lie to me. There's also a box out there. 
Excuse me. Okay. I guess that's all for us here. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Clark. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. A tape player. A player for audio cassettes. You have to put a tape in it to work. Is there already one in it though? No, no it's not. Gatewell. Giant ass copying machines. So it looks like we need to trick the intercom. Nurse's Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mysterious illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium. So we have to put them in straight jackets and move them into the isolation wing. Problem is the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. What does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? I get the feeling we have to go to the god the the damn uh, isolation ward. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Magic, that's what. Okay. This is like a big TV. A, B, C, D, E, F. What? Is it literally just saying it? The, the alphabet? That's cool. That's funny. Oh, hang on a sec. I got a phone call. Alright, sorry about that. I had a, a phone call. Oh, green herb. I get the feeling something bad's about to happen. Maybe I shouldn't pick up all this stuff with Carlos. I just realized that. Oh, shit. Hey! Hey, fellas! There's someone behind me. Nope. Is just so mad at everything. These zombies just don't care. Stop! Stop that! Jesus Christ, stop it. Hey, you dead? Do they not like the store? I don't know. We're about to find out. I keep thinking I hear something behind me. Yep, it's still trying to move me. God, I love this controller. I need to clean it. I need to clean it so badly. Brain blast. Alright, now you did? Oh my god, the dodge. There you go. I really wish this would stop. 
I mean, granted, I'm complaining about a controller I can easily replace. Just stop, please. You're waking the neighbors. Oh my god. What the fuck? So I was in caution. And a spiny little fuck like that kills me. All right. Oh, and it put me all the way back here. Oh, fantastic. Um... Let's see. Now everything else has been picked up here, I guess. So time to move forward again. Yep, been here. Stop that. Carlos. Let me just squeeze past you guys. Alright. Double back here, put that in. I really should replace this controller. Even though I like it, it's blue. I like it. It's my favorite controller. It's also one that is probably the filthiest. Yeah, you see that? Like, that's... That's borderline, like, annoying. That's kind of fixed now. Welcome to the office of Dr. Sir Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Kind of funny though, all that health that it gave me did absolutely nothing. Alright, back here again. It says she's not dead. Now she is. Stop it, controller. Is 
Something I've noticed now as I've played the game a little bit more. The zombies have like lower frame rate the farther they get away from you. Hey buddy, you're still up. Good to know. There's apparently still something in here. It's probably counting for that area over there. Oh, my face is itchy. Hang on. Alright. I'm just gonna move this way. Hopefully he doesn't follow me in here. Keyword, hopefully. Nope, no way in there. Oh, there's like moldy food. Looks like peas. Tasty. Nose is itchy again. Oh, I was looking away. Sorry. You did? Yeah. I think I know what's coming. Because he was decapitated in, in such a way. More food? Hey, you dead, bro? Oh, we're on the roof somehow. Alright. Alright, now we're over here. I've noticed Carlos gets less handgun ammo and more machine gun ammo. I need to wrap this up soon. Staff only. Hey. Asking ye shall receive. Alright. Fantastic. What is this? Nurse Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mysterious mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. What's hyperphagia? Okay, Google. What is hyperphagia? According to Miriam Webster, abnormally increased appetite for consumption of food frequently associated with injury to the hypothalamus. So they're hungry. Alright. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. Patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have to contain this chaos. Oh, all hands on deck. I know how that's feeling right now. I know exactly how you're feeling, nurse. Granted, I don't work in the medical field. But I know it. I know all hands on deck. Alright. Plenty of health. I know they're about to make us fight those damn hunters. I know it. I just know it. But that's gonna be next time. Didn't really make too much progress, but that's progress enough. Okay. Anyways, guys. Uh, let me get Carlos in the light. Anyways, guy. Uh, no, actually, it looks weird. Maybe this light. Yeah, that's a little better. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for me today with Resident Evil 3. When we come back, we are going to search the hospital for Dr. Bard to hopefully save Jill. Because Carlos is the man. He's the man. He's the super cop. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic night. If you did enjoy the videos, always let me know down in the comment section below. I look forward to reading anything I do get. And keep in mind giveaway for the other copy of this game is still up on the first video all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and as well leave a comment tell me you are wanting to win it and it should be going it's probably going to be going now for about a week from the time that that video was uploaded so i should have this uploaded before a week is out 
You'll notice though if it's not there anymore, it'll say giveaway closed or I might even extend it because I don't need two copies of this game. But guys, have a fantastic day, fantastic night, stay healthy, wash your hands, and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.